still in fourth place. They're 7.9 seconds ahead of the car. So this is actually the first and second place cars are in shot right now. But they're yep. just uh, two laps apart. So, oh, now is that a, oh, that's a slow moving I think car. That's another, is that another? I hope that's this not the, the 86, I guess. This is the one, no, I don't think it is, Andrew. This is the one that we previously had difficulty identifying because for some reason they are not. Whatever it is, they're going to be coming into the pit lane. Here they come. We'll watch for on the tracker who declares is in the pit lane. Uh, it's not someone on page one. Uh, oh, it's the seven. I think it's the seventy-seven. Yeah, I agree. Aprilla I performance agree. racing. Oh, and someone's had a, a leak there because there's a lot of cement dust being put down. Here comes the leader, looking even more like a MotoGP uh, Ducati now, with well that big hole in the front. And that's the 443 right on his tail. So is this the leader's just put a third lap on the second place, or is this second place trying to unlap themselves, Andrew? I think it's, I think it's, I the, think latter. it's the latter. Yeah. So I think this is the 443, uh, you know, the MS Soco Select car, trying to unlap themselves. Indeed it is. And they've got the pace to do it. They were half a second quicker the last time around, although traffic may be playing into that delta that we just quoted. And here, is that the 115 and the 58 battling over fourth that just went through shot as well? Um, if I don't think it is, because the gap would have had to have gone down very quickly, so I'm not sure about that. But uh, yeah, the 443, I think. Uh, no, the 443's dropped back traffic there, so they haven't unlapped themselves yet. But I thought I'm just going to double check the gap between fourth and fifth as they cross the line because it seemed it definitely looks like there's a There's a curb warning. Yeah, the Lucas Racing, uh, the MS Lucas Racing cart with the kind of half split delivery down the center still running pretty well yep 420 seven very place uh, at the moment very um var racing uh, uh, eight, nine. var yeah, when was the zip car 99 99 there we go because the fia did not want yes. uh, BAR to run two different liveries on Ooh. two different. Oh, there's a there's tire. tire on the track. Oh, there's and a car that's left. Off. Um, now, who is that? Uh, can't quite make that out. Uh, who that is? Oh, is that? I think that's Owen Burton. It is Owen Burton, I think. I uh, recognise that helmet from the NKL in the 23. Uh, no, it's the Monday nights. It is the Monday nights cart with Captain Owen Burton at the wheel. Uh, thanks to Sanders Dimitri, who's uh, let us know that it's Romano Franson uh, currently piloting the 443 in second place. Uh, yellow flag is now with the drawn tyre book put back in its place and Owen Burton is back underway again. Pit stop for the cart in second place in, excuse me, in Rookie. Is that the 443 unlapping himself? No, sorry. Uh, no, it's not. My fault. Yeah, so the Cosley Cougars are pitting now. It's just stand and stop, I think. Yes, they were in one hour and 42 minutes ago. Did we before this one? Sorry, I mean, did we establish who went off to drive his left? Uh, yes, it was Owen Burton in the uh, in the, in the Monday nights number twenty-three. Ah, sorry, I, I tried to do a run outside to uh, see if I could spot the cart close up, but uh, that didn't quite work. They were much further down the straight than I thought. So. Uh, six hours, over six hours now into the race. And this is first and second, but that is not a representation of quite how close they are. There are actually two laps separating first and second place. 
but right now second place are trying to unlap themselves, which of course they will have to do. They want to ever fight for the win outright. They're going to have to get past here and get the lap back. Seventh place, 420 MS Lucas Racing Kart has pitted, as has the second place higher karts class, kartevents.be. So it's going to be interesting to see where they come out in relation to former leaders of that class, number 57, Harry's Carriers. Keep an eye on that as we watch the leaders go through the traffic here. 443 gestures to the guy who just put a lap on. So thank you for not being a difficult piece of traffic. Shot. Doing some kind of uh, signal to the camera. Oh, who's this? Uh, who is that? Is that the 111? Is this? It is the 777. Isn't the 777 blue? Ah, thank you, Andrew. Uh, so, uh, drama for the 777 there. Offline two has pitted immediately. And we've gone to full course yellow. So someone's out there stationary. And whilst we're going full course yellow, now the uh, 443 has got a lap there. No, sorry, we are not going full course yellow. So that was perfectly legitimate. And no, we are going full course yellow. I wait in suspense to see if we actually are. Now I'm seeing a lot of drivers raising their hand as if to acknowledge that we are. But the 443 there, crucially through the traffic, just got the lap back. So the lead gap is now down to less than two laps. And uh, I believe uh, we are finally able to deliver on our promise of going out there live with our remote camera and Andrew, who's standing ready to take you through the paddock. Down in the paddock, perfect time, full course yellow. Let's go for a little chat with some of the drivers, see who we can find. And uh, actually, I'm going to talk to the 48 team first. I'm going to see if Laura wants to chat. Laura is eating her chips. Uh, Laura, it's all gone a bit wrong, hasn't it, for the 48? What's happened? Um, after Julian's stint, I think the uh, fuel surge, we ran out of fuel, and um, we couldn't get the engine started, and there was a queue in the pits, so it took us quite a while to get that one fixed. Apart from that, is it everything running quite well? Cart's still running well? You've had a good battle with the uh, the 103 in, in the recent laps. Uh, did I? Oh, it, that's Lewis. Yeah, I'm sure Lewis is doing great. Obviously, I'm <laughs> busy watching. But, um, yeah, no, it's all, all right. I think my stint was okay. I was very, very wet, um, which is great in my nice white suit. <laughs> but mum's going to love cleaning that one. But, yeah, it's all going well so far. I think I was quite quick in the, in the wet. Maybe I wasn't the quickest, but I kind of I didn't spin it, which is the main point. And, uh, yeah, made up a few places, but I think it's going to be pretty hard to come back from here now. Well, best of luck. Plenty of racing to go. Thank sure, you. we'll see you at the finish. Uh, who else can we find? Da -da -da -da. I'm going to stick my microphone in here and talk to some people. <laughs> Guys, introduce yourselves. Which team are you on? How are we, do how are we doing so far? Uh, we're on YMSV Crash Team Racing. And uh, we're having a fairly good race. A couple of mechanical problems. But uh, we're happy with the team's driving so far. Is this uh, your guys' first time here? Or is it, or is it, are you quite au okay with this place, Teesside? Uh, we do the local championship. But uh, it's the first time doing a, an endurance event like this. So we're a bit new to how things work with driver changes and weights, and uh, especially having the high-speed brokarts on the circuit. I mean, we're going into, uh, we've got a few more hours of daylight then going into the night time. Have any of you got experience of racing in the night? How do you think that's going to play into uh, the race over the next few hours? Uh, no one really has any experience driving at night, but uh, we're hoping that it's going to dry up a little bit, and uh, that'll play in our favour, because uh, we're not really wet weather strong, our team. Well, hopefully it's going to dry up, and uh, we'll see you at the end of the race. Fingers crossed. So that's the uh, the crash team racing team. Uh, right. I 
think Luke will go that way towards the paddock or stay in this area. Let's see who else we can find. Chaps on the live stream, introduce yourselves. Uh, how are we doing? How's the race going so far for you? Bad, yeah, it's, uh, swimming karting, we're all swimming karting. Oh uh, yeah, it's not going too bad. We had a couple of technical issues, uh, broken stub axle and things like that, a couple of trips to the garage, but what can you do, eh? Well, getting them, getting them out of the way nice and early at this stage. Are you enjoying it? Is this your first time uh, here? Uh, yeah, first time here. Never done anything like that on this sort of scale before, but yeah, it's been good. It's been a uh, bit of a learning curve, a bit of a learning curve. I wish we were a bit more prepared, but well, you never know. Uh, the future. Seeing the two teams slowly working its way back up, back up into the top 40, yeah. what's, what's the aim? Where would you like to finish? Uh, we'd like to do well, of course, but um, yeah, just like to get up there. We seem to get back up there, and then we'll have a little technical issue. I see it, we're straight back down again, but then we've got to work up. But we're still early in the race. It's a lot can happen in a long time, so a long time left. Well, like I say, you've got lots of support back home. Keep yeah. it up uh, yeah, on your right. debut here at Teesside, and we'll see you at the finish. Right. I think it's all fairly quiet now. I think we're going to go over here. Go to drive. Let's grab a driver. Hello. Driver, what's your name? Who do you race for? Uh, Jordan, I race for Piston Broke. So, has any have any pistons broken so far? <laughs> uh, no, but we have had the uh, the engine uh, come loose, so we lost uh, seven laps. But we've made them up now, so it's okay. So uh, you're running kind of in the middle, middle of the field at the moment. Where, where do you think you can finish? Uh, out of the higher carts, we're hoping for around about top 15. So, yeah, we'll just keep pushing and do what we're doing. Well, clearly all set, ready to go. Have a good run. We'll see you out there in a bit. Right. Luke, do we want to chat to anybody else or do we want to head? Let's head to these guys. Let's grab, I think his name's Alexander. I can yep. see him on his... Uh, Alexander, Hi. Uh, which team do, team do you race for? How's uh, it going so far? Sim racing our club. Um, we had an engine fail during during the rain. The first part of it was driving, and one of the engines completely flooded it. We were basically dead last. Uh, we're now back up to... Where was the check? We're back up to 32nd right now. We're really climbing hard back up. It's, uh, it's been a tough race so far. Literally, my whole suit is completely... <laughs> completely soaked. It's it's been a lot of fun. Um, basically, our team it's it's a bunch of sim racers who come yeah. together. We know each other from sim race for a few years. We actually met each other in the flats Thursday, I think, for the first time, and uh, it's been really going really well so far. It's a lot of fun. That's a really interesting story. I did wonder when I saw the team name um, on the entry sheet. I mean, yeah. what kind of Talk, talk me through sim racing in terms of what skills have, have kind of been developed as a team that are being applied here today. Well, basically what we do, um, we're running with the sim race in our club. They run the virtual endurance championship, and that's basically trying to mirror the WC as far as possible. It caters to teams literally from all around the world. There's about 80 teams last season. We're now in the off-season. There's about 100 teams entered. That is four to five drives per team, literally from all over the world. Um, last season I had... A uh, teammate from Sweden, Australia, got myself as well, a Polish driver. It's literally from all around the world. We all do the, um, the whole sim racing thing. It's, you learn a lot of, about the driving, the, um, the game we're using, R-Factor 2. It's really good in the physics as well, so that's a lot that you learn. And a lot of things you learn in there, you can kind of apply here as well. I mean, in the sim race, you don't get the feel in your butt and yeah. just driving around. But you get the feel in the hand, you're getting an idea of how it works. I mean, two of the guys, they've never really raced a car before. And one of them came out when the range just stopped, and he's been on it ever since. He was flying. It's, you learn a lot about it. It, it. It's not the real deal, but it's more kind of the cheaper version of about a really, really expensive uh, hobby. And I guess for you guys, it's got you into into racing yeah. on, in a real car. So I suppose, yeah, you're right in saying you don't maybe have the physical nature of it, but, but no. definitely the, ra the race craft. Yeah, for you, are you finding that there's transferable skills there, racing with all these different guys? Finesse, the finesse, the driving around traffic as well, just seeing the gaps, knowing when to take a gap and when not, and just finding the lines as well. It's really a lot easier if you kind of know what you're doing instead of just getting into a car for the first time and just try and guess it. No, most of them, um, one of the guys uh, is LMP1 reigning champion. The other one is GT reigning champion. The other one has 
six of the eight um, fastest laps. That's one of my teammates. It's uh, six of the eight fastest laps during the last season. It's, I mean, all of these guys have never really done this kind of racing before, and they're all just got into it, got on with it, and they're doing really well so far. I'm proper proud of them. And I've done this, this is my first 24-hour event as well, and kind of just pulled them along, and they've been handling it really well. It's a lot of fun. Well, I, I think that's an absolutely fantastic story. Yeah. Thanks for, for pulling the team together. We'll, uh, we'll watch out for you as you come through, and uh, hopefully we'll see you up in the top 20 later on. Down in the, the pit area, we're the only one without a gazebo because we oversized the gazebo and couldn't fit in it anymore. <laughs> so if you want to, if you want to come back and have a chat with us again, we'll be we'll be there. Easily findable. The ones yeah. without a gazebo. That's the sim racing team. Uh, we'll head back into the commentary box now and back to Howard. Thank you, Andrew. Really good. To, oh, and just as you join us, the 999 gets very wide, coming out of uh, going out onto the back straight. Uh, but yeah, brilliant to get the driver's thoughts. Uh, I will say though, I didn't catch too much of that because there was a lot of action going on in the pit lane all at once. And it did affect one of our class leaders. So, uh, one of the carts out of either the, I'm not entirely sure, it was either the 61 cart uh, or the 987 cart, uh, which is Team Bernardo 987, or what Andrew and I are referring to as the Bashful Langley Knights, but they call themselves some other words to that effect, which one said some way sound rather wrong. Rude. Rude. Uh, they both ran into mechanical issues, and it held up a series of carts in the pit lane, not least the... Uh, 83 last minute cut, the 39 uh, Banch, oh no, excuse me, the Banshee Racing Cup has been hit for quite a while. The 61, oh sorry, the 222 uh, Canterbury College. I don't think it held them up too much, but the cart it did hold up, because I saw it with my own eyes, was the 120, the class leader in the higher carts class, the uh, SG Petch Sprinters. They got held up by someone who had a mechanical problem in the pit lane. They've retained the lead of the class, but the gap is down to under 30 seconds between SG Pet Sprinters and Harry's Carriers, who have got back past cartsevents.be in the pit stops. I also want to draw attention to the battle for third place overall right now between the clubman leader, Team Keen, and DWS in fourth who we were talking about earlier, they battled earlier, but the gap is now back down to 6.2 seconds. And only 21 seconds behind them is the 770 offline one cart. Now we've mentioned the offline carts recently, but I don't think we've really mentioned the offline one cart. They've been going okay for the last few hours. So there are several battles brewing here. Uh, we've also had pit stops for the CD31 team, 31 cart. Uh, we've had pit stops for the uh, number 46 DCU karting team, the number 5 Cupid Stunts cart, uh, the 22 Mission Motorsport cart, and the 64 uh, Dads and Lads cart, just some of the carts that have pitted whilst we were hearing the thoughts of the drivers uh, in the pit lane. In fact, I'm slightly worried the CD31 cart may have a, a larger problem because they've been in the pits for quite a while. And as I say, 61... Uh, shy, I will say, the shy and tall knights. <coughs> yes, uh, they are uh, in the pits with a mechanical problem at the moment. Uh, as were the 987, I thought, but they're now back out. So I think it wasn't mechanical for the shy and tall knights. That's the solution, right? I'm just going to put the word and with it. Uh, there is the 115, currently third place cart. Team Key, you can see the owner cart there uh, with the blue, dr oh, that's a, that's a roll on the traffic. But the blue suited driver with the white helmet that you can see in shot now, that is the 115 Team Keen cart, currently running in third place overall and leading the clubman class. And just seven, actually they've opened up the gap a little bit again, 7.3 seconds, as there's a contact warning for Team Keen for that rather robust 
uh, method of getting through the traffic. Um, but hopefully we're gonna. Oh no, we don't quite stick with that. S uh, the shot of that straight line. We'll see the next car down the road. But DWS are pushing here. Make no mistake about it. Offline one. They're only 20 seconds down the road, which with. Uh, with uh, 17 hours and 40 minutes of a race to go, is nothing as a gap. So, there is definitely plenty of challenges for the last of the podium positions at the moment. The second place cart is one lap ahead of the third place cart, and the third place cart is still two laps ahead, I note. So we thought we saw the 443 unlapping themselves from the 330 right here, bringing it down for, to one lap in that. I'm wondering if one of them, uh, the 443 pitted and we haven't noticed it, or, or somewhere the 443 has lost out. Uh, as there, yes, we've just seen the two so I won't that again. So those are sort of my, uh, my hot picks for the next hour as to what we should watch. We should watch the battle for third place and keep an eye on the gap in uh, the higher cart class because Harry's carriers at the moment are setting very good pace and are slowly but surely reducing the gap to SG Pet Sprinters who are trying to recover some time lost in that last pit stop that we held up behind. We think it was the 61 cart who had some form of mechanical. Uh, the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineering team, 40th place car, the 1942. 1942 to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineering team. They are currently in the pits. Uh, dads and lads are still in the pits. I'm wondering if they may have some kind of problem with their car. So they're hitting there. Who else is close throughout the field? Uh, gap for uh, 32nd place, the Thundercats. are actually only just up the road from the rival Bones and the Braun Cocktail. Uh, actually, excuse me, the Braun Cocktail's a one lap down on the second down, but the gap is just 1.4 seconds for 32nd place. Kyle, keeping you sane whilst you are sidelined. And uh, battle for 47th place, as well as quite close between Black Art Customs and YMSV Crash Team Racing. Shout out to Black Hole Customs a little earlier on. So now the field the gaps over it slightly more. I think, yeah, the closest battle is 40, the battle 47th place is close. The battle, as I say, 32nd place is close. Producer Luke will control this swing. Uh, so yeah, there are some close battles to watch at the moment as well. As there's a yellow flag and a cart being recovered up the hill there. Oh, that was a sprightly jump into the cart for whoever went off there. That wet patch is uh, is still there. Still hanging around. Uh, it was drizzling a little bit now there. Requests for we've got a flurry of things. Uh, so oh, uh, we've got requests to talk more about further down the field from Don Pryor. Uh, he seems to be supporting the 99 car. We'll do our best, Don. Uh, we've got the 65 carts uh, to cover here. The 99, how's that getting on? Uh, oh. We're going to start with Matthew. Oh, yeah, for the ED, that. EDKT. 37th place at the moment for the number 85. Uh, currently in the uh, 122s. Decent pace. And actually, they're closing in on Swindon Karting 2. Uh, they're just less than two seconds behind 
the number 68 Swindon Carty 2 cart. Um, so there may be a bit of a battle for position on this very lap if we can find those guys. 58's in. This is your leader in Clubman. So they're in for a regular pit stop. Just going to check when the last time they were in. There's one hour and 24 minutes to go. Uh, so, yes, let's try and find the 67. Let's use the features on out timing. It looks like they're coming down the uh, back train into the chicanes. So, I think we're close. <laughs> just are we uh, sorry, mate, are we still going through this uh, uh, which list of requests? For, well, no, because uh, well, we are. Um, it's just the EDK team Twin Cup and 2 are actually. Oh, okay. Well done, Matthew. You pointed that out. Are very, very close together on track. I'm just trying to find where. Uh, what request on that uh, of this recent flurry? Uh, Racing for Riley, the 99. Have we covered them? Uh, no. Nope. Currently running in 59th place. They're a lap down on the 22 Sporting Force and Mission Motorsport. Uh, and they are three laps ahead of the Dandies Barmy Army team, the number 25 in 60th place. Um, Northampton Maidens in the pits. How who stop. else have we covered on this list? Uh, 211. Oh, 211. Yeah. Tom McDonald asking for what's going on with 211. Uh, they've, well, they're going very quickly. A 114.9 last time around for the MS JSR, excuse me, JSR machine. Uh, they well, they did lead. They led the race earlier on, uh, but they've then had some issues over the last few hours. They are fighting back, though. Six laps off the lead. 23, Ben Pickard asking for the Monday nights. They've uh, unfortunately had some issues as well earlier in the race, uh, but they're back into the top 30. Good progress there from the Monday nights team. Uh, we did mention them a little bit ago in terms of they had the accident at start finish. But they're doing okay. They're in the top half, and as I say, there's still a long way in this one to go. Don't forget, by the way, I'm going to interject here that if you are wondering where anybody is, go to live.alpha.com and go to slash T side, T S I D D, and you can find out where everybody is. Not to take away from our job, it's our job to try and cover all these uh, as we go around. Andrew, I have an interviewee. Yes. And he, he's, he's the I best like interviewee ever, ever way, because he bought us donuts before coming back for an interview. <laughs> right, I'll take the headset off. <laughs> Hello, Ooh, hang on, you're not on yet. Let me turn you up. You're on. Am I on now? Yes. You are. Okay, on. I can hear myself. Hello. So. Oh, this is what I sound like. It's, it's weird, scary. isn't it, to hear you back in your head? Right. I we've been joined by Rob Chalmers. Hello. Of uh, Bernardo. Yes, Team Bernardo. Team Bernardo, which covers three teams. Yes. Uh, which are the. Uh, it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be the 987. This isn't going to be in order, but there's the Team Bernardo Academy. Yes. And then there's the 987. Uh, 987, 987 Bernardo, yep. and then there's just the Bernardo Racing, is that correct? Bernardo 7, which is currently... Bernardo 7, now. yes, indeed, and is currently doing a pit stop. As who's, what's happened there on track? Uh, a couple of higher carts, that would be rather awkward. It might be swooping. I agree that might be swooping. Keep an eye on that. Um, so, uh, we're going to take part just a second here. It's the 82 and the 103. Um, so that's UCK and... In order. Who's the 83, Andrew? Last minute. I'm glad we didn't just have a moment when you said we haven't got one. We haven't got one. Um, yeah, okay, so dramas for them. We've both got back underway. So Rob. Hello. Tell us about Bernardo. Team Bernardo is the massively unofficial team of a well-known luxury car brand from from Great Britain. Um, I'm trying to know whether I'm allowed to say the actual name. You've probably, if you've seen the live stream, you've probably seen our number 987 cart. And although it's red, there is a lot of white and green on there. And you can probably guess from there who we're from. Um, Bernardo Academy is made up of our IDs, our history of 
right. Um, they're, they're hooked on their last weekly bit with us down in the tree, so they're having a bit of fun coming up here and getting wet, covered in mud, tired, cold, rabbit like that. Fantastic stuff. Um, we've got two other teams. We've got uh, Donato987, that is a mix of our usual BPEC team and Solutions Racing Fun Cup team. Like all these names, these quick little names which we've, we've been reading out. You can't say Fun Cup team too quickly. No, you can't. No, because this it, is Fun yes. Cup as in the Fun Cup cars. BW Fun Cup, yeah. Yeah, as in uh, the, the 25 hours of spa, yes. that sort of racing. Yes. yes. Uh, Very successful. Yes. Um, so we've got them and we've got Bonato 7, which is our uh, core group of uh, cars. So they went off and did the uh, Daytona 24 hour earlier this year and then they've come back to do this as well because we've always been doing this since 2006. We've been here every single year. All I've right, fantastic. I've been here since 99. God, that makes me feel old. Um, you must be wanting to get out the gates by now. No, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still haven't left. Yeah, no, no, but uh, brilliant to have you keep coming back. So, uh, you mentioned it was your VPEC team. Yes. How is your season going? Uh, good. Uh, we've had a number of top fives, doing really well. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't done all the rounds because we've just been picking and choosing. Last year we did our first race with the rookie hires. Yep. Here, actually. And uh, we loved them so much that uh, Piers and James decided that they wanted to do as much of a full season as they could. Mm -hmm. So, they to and said, can you do can you put it all together and they're doing a great job. Yeah, brilliant stuff. And uh, you mentioned the team competed in Daytona. Yep, Renato uh, 7 raced in the name M Power. Oh, right. Uh, rather than under the Renato name. Um, at, the, at Daytona 24 hour, they did pretty well, but it had a few mechanicals, had to have a, an engine change midnight quite similar as to what's happening now. I was going to say, tell, tell yeah. us the story of your race. Well, Team Bonato 7 got into the lead of a Club High Class for all they of did about indeed, yep. a lap, was it? Before the exhaust fell off and we got the yep. air flags. Um, panic ensued, and but we got back out and we're now coming back up after the old problem. We've had um, an air filter suck through into the car, number 7 as well, which cost us more time. And then just when uh, 987 was getting up the leaderboard, guess what? Another paper and with the inside of an air filter went so is, this is this the result of the heavy rain? Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're getting very, very soggy, very, very quickly. Yes. Uh, paper doesn't like water. No. So, uh, yeah. But uh, Academy got a little bit of a helping hand going into the corner on the very first lap, and they were at the back, so they've come through. They've also had the odd niggling issue. But it's a 24 hour race. These things happen. It is raining. Right, so that can check. But how I, I'm very jealous. I, I used to. I, I've stopped racing myself and I love to be out there. I can't go out there. But yeah. Uh, fantastic stuff. And is this. Uh, do you, are you guys involved in any other forms of racing, or is endurance racing the, the, the thing for you guys? Is well, that, we uh, normally, on behalf of said motor industry car company that is based down in Green, um, we did the World Corporate Games, European Corporate Games, and UK Corporate Games, and won all three. Oh, right. right so okay. that's, that's our claim to fame, along with odd little things like the INECI Trophy, which we won. Uh, and local charity cars. We did the, the Bender Motor Industry and Evelyn's Fund mm -hmm. um, series as well. Mm -hmm. It looks like. Well, I'm uh, kind of looking for people if, if, if I may ask, why, why can't you get out there? <laughs> um, if I was out there, I wouldn't have a message to go home to, and my family probably wouldn't have done that. I got slightly tired of throwing myself at tire walls at selected car tracks around the world. So okay. So I thought, you know what, it's time to grow up and just sit there and manage this whole organization. So I s took a step back. <laughs> I'm looking at this now and I'm going, why aren't you over there on that line? And why are you breaking there? And yeah, it's. <laughs> I'm trying not it's to be a helicopter parent. Yes, yeah. difficult, difficult position to watch it from, yeah. I'm sure, yeah. 
Um, incidentally, we just saw the uh, 34 Scotech racing car have an incident uh, here in one last lap. Now got back on the way, so not too much time lost for them. Uh, so yeah, I do have another question. It's nothing to do with racing. But okay. A donut. Yes. Thank you. No, no problem. Uh, no problem at all. Uh, <coughs> I don't know. To be honest, just we'll probably do something wrong within the next <laughs> thing, which will be either offensive or <laughs> infuriate somebody. <laughs> so I thought I'd get my bribe in first, just in case. Okay. So yeah. All right. Working, on, working on a pay it forward scheme here. Yeah. No. It's a good for planning. Ev every team manager team. Would you, would you describe the role as team manager? Well, we'll yes. Every team manager should fall back on the team. Yeah, yes. there you go. Um, probably the oldest person on the team, so yes, I'll class myself. Probably. So, you said you've been around, you've been around here since 1999, you years. say? Yes. Uh, and, and you've been competing, uh, Bernardo has been competing since 2006. Correct. Yes. So, what's your best ever result? Uh, oh. what, what can you hope for uh, with this event? Talk us through your hopes mm, and, and how it's gone in the past. Pre well, to be we managed to, I think it was 2012, we managed to get a car from podium um, in the, what was then the elite hire, which is basically the higher peak in the past. Um, so that's, that's our best result to date here. Um, at the moment, with, with where we are in the late quarter, uh, you, have you have Team Bonato Academy and Team Bonato 987 at the Ah yes, of course, yeah. So uh, never say never, but we we're a few laps down, and it's I think it's a case of enjoying ourselves, as mm -hmm. you always do here. It's a festival here. It, it's yeah, not, not just a motor race. It's a festival here. So uh, yeah, looking forward to just getting Ooh. through the night. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, the leader's gone round there in the traffic. Sorry to cut across you there, Rob. Not a problem. Uh, now well back helped. underway, uh, and had of course got uh, what used to be a two lap gap is now down to a one lap gap because the 443 did unlap themselves a short time ago. I don't think the marshal um, even got a chance to get to his yellow No, I don't think he did. They were very, uh, very quick to recover that, but scary moment for the leaders. Uh, they've had a relatively clean run since the first one frame, which they were uh, unknown until now. T side cross, uh, well, rally cross, so uh, there. Um, but. Uh, Yes, so, uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll be the one to say the cliche of endurance racing if you won't. Uh, there's still a long way to go. Yes. <laughs> so, Many who knows, watch this space, and we will uh, watch, it, uh, watch it with great interest. And, uh, no, absolutely fantastic to have um, a really well-established and long-running team such as yourselves still supporting the event. And, uh, to. Hopefully we'll be here for Le Mans next year. We're, yep. we're aiming to be at Le Mans next year and um, get the early bird prize. We'll get that in. Nice plug for, for the 24 hours. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's currently an early bird prize on the Le Mans 24 hours. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm sorry, I'm just kind of partially distracted because we've, we've got our French hot shoe out in uh, currently in number 96. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. What we've got here there. We haven't got many driver names. What's her name? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, we've got... Ah, have you sent right, us the next? Yes. Ah, brilliant. So oh, this is... Even with helmet and everything, um, the only person who is not on here, there you go, mm -hmm. there's Serene. In she's currently, I think she was on screen just a second ago, a lovely orange and blue helmet. She's on num number 96. Mm -hmm. Tell it by, it's got white and blue stickers on, on them. And so uh, the number 37 is all blue for ZF, who are who supply our gearboxes for our road cars and came along with a bunch of stickers about four years ago and I just still have them. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've yes. been desperately sticking them on at everything <laughs> and I still have got plenty of them. So Are you one of those people with a laptop that's rather... It's a bit sticker bomb. It's yes. got... Yes. yes. So ah. that, that's that's the, the motif I was going for on, on pretty much all the cars. <laughs> the 987 <laughs> is carrying their livery from last year, which is roughly GT3 days. Oh, we've got another spin around. Oh, we have, yes. yes. Uh, it's one of the elite cars, the 99. So that's the uh, Norfolk cart. Oh, uh, no, the Racing for Riley cart. Sorry, they did change their name, didn't they? So that's the Racing for Riley cart, Riley cart now underway again. Uh, but yes, no, uh, well. Maybe. Uh, yes, let's... Um, how fast do these carts go, says John Ellen on Facebook. Um, uh, yeah, you take that in one moment. I believe, coming down through what... We 
I refer to them as the Wiggles. You've been calling them the Slaloms, or the Chicanes? Uh, yeah, we've always called them the. S- well, I say we've always called them the Slaloms. We're just thinking of the Slaloms, but. Uh, as you come down there, I do believe the um, the elites or the, the high athletes got to top out at 71 miles an hour after the absolute flat jack in wow. behind okay. it. Yeah. And possibly very steep course. Yes, yes. Not, so not my kind of build, though. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, when we were on the race <laughs> I oh, mine, in fact. <laughs> um, when we were on the race hires last year, I do believe they're about a good, well, it's noticeable when you're going along. They're a good five. Possibly ten miles an hour, but they are. Yeah, it's, it's quite an experience where they come past you. Yes. Yeah. And last year, yeah, I got to be on the shoe was on the other foot, and it was a great experience with the rookie hires to come absolutely bounding past people coming down off the mountain and, and into what I call the Wiggles. So it's. I like the w- Wiggles is a good name. You, you should consider that. Uh, in the wet, you get very windy through there. You do get very windy through there in the in the wet. Um, well, look. Rob, thank you for uh, for coming in and having a chat to us. Thank you very much for the donuts. Uh, without the donuts, of course, we would have paid close attention to the progress of the Bernardo teams. But with the donuts, you can have a guarantee that we'll pay close attention. And uh, all the best for the rest of the race. And uh, yeah, yeah, for, for for the rest of uh, for the rest of the BPEC season. Is there anywhere? I do always give people slight opportunities. Is there anything? Uh, any? place online that people can go to find out more about yes. this. Uh, we're on Facebook, just search uh, for Team Bernardo on Facebook or Twitter. We're also on YouTube, which is youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Team Bernardo. Yep. Um, we're always on there and we normally keep up to date. We throw a few videos on there as well from the championships we do and take part in. So there might be a few videos and live streams as well. You're live from uh, Facebook for us from here as well. But thank you very much for having me. Yeah, no, good stuff. Thanks very much. And back to the headset. And do indeed. Well, there we are. Uh, that was nice. It's very nice of him to come in and talk to us. We always like that. Uh, people in coming and having a chat save uh, save people from listening to us. Uh, if nothing else. But no, really good to hear from... Uh, one well, of the teams who's well established in this championship and well established within endurance racing as a whole. Tony asks, "Are you eating them donuts as you do your interview, Rob?" <laughs> no, he wasn't. He wasn't he actually. Was I got I very was. jealous. I was doing the interview, and then I suddenly noticed everybody in the room <laughs> around us had started eating these donuts. Yes, I may. Have I haven't had one yet. Um, we did, however, go over the bottom of the hour with that interview, though. So I will uh, just do a quick run through. Uh, perhaps not a full run through this hour. Uh, maybe save that for next one. Uh, we'll do. Uh, I'll do an abridged run through. Uh, let's talk about the bullet points. So your leader is still the 330Q racing car, 279 laps in the bag. But uh, we did see a moment of drama for them a few moments ago, uh, where they had a spin in traffic. I think they were just light contact with another car in the traffic, and. Um, the uh, cart went round at the final hairpin on the lap, but they've recovered and got underway. But uh, the 443 cart, the second place cart, has undone one of the two laps that the leaders had in hand. So it's now just a one lap gap back to the number 443, the second place MS Soko Select cart. Third place in uh, both pro class, class and overall is the 770 offline one cart. They're a further lap back from the 443 uh, in the second place. Uh, fourth place and leader of the clubman class is the Team Keen cart, uh, the 115, and they are 11 seconds now down the road from the 58DWS cart in fifth and second place in the clubman class. Uh, the 420 MS Lucas Racing Team are in sixth place. And that's, uh, does that represent a change, Andrew? Because offline one weren't third place previously. So they've got past Team Keen and DWS, actually. Yes, Because I remember have. talking about it being a battle for third. So, yes, that's actually quite a significant development there. Offline one are now 27, 27 seconds of the road to Team Keen. Fourth of the 50 DWS. MS Lucas Racing, as I say, 425. Seventh of the 74 of JDR. Uh, actually, I am go- actually, you know what? I am going to do a full run through the field because we've had a lot of people requesting, uh, just before that interview, we had a, lot, a flurry of people requesting where are people. So let's give you a full run through so everyone gets the idea. Um, 
Tier, 7th place in the 74 JDR, 8th place in the 222 Canterbury College team, 9th uh, place in the 211 MSJSR. Oh, sorry, oh. Howard, there was a massive oh, moment there for oh, the 999. Me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. Four wide going down towards the now renamed Wiggles. And uh, <laughs> I like it. four into. Whoa, oh, there's a oh, massive moment careful. there. Careful as the he 999. That. I don't know if he's got a problem. With that contact. Very unsteady there, didn't he? How did that develop, Andrew? How well, you, you had four wide, and then three of them, you had kind of two ahead and one in the middle, and the two squeezed on the one in the middle, pinched each other, kind of triangulated into one another, and then the 999 had its you, about four different spins all in one. I'll tell you one thing, it's got out of shot now, but I very much like the 999 to... Um, I'd very much like the 999 driver to put his visor down slightly more. To me, it looked like it was quite open, and uh, that's not what we like to see in go-kart racing. It might be okay in touring cars and GT racing when you've got a windshield in front of you, but here, I'd advise he put that a little lower down. Um, where were we anyway? We were in the eighth place. Uh, ninth place was the 211 MSJSR. Rounding up the top ten was the 777 Offline 2. In 11th place is the 110 Giant Hornets Racing. 12th place is the 69 Cozley Cougars. Uh, incidentally, the Giant Hornets Racing and Cozley Cougars are first and second in the rookie class, respectively. Uh, 13th place is the 79 Team Belgian car. That's a club in the class. Then we get on to the top three in the higher cars class. And 14th place, the 120 SP Pep Sprinters is 25 seconds up the road from the 57 car of Harris Carriers in 15th place and 16th place, third place uh, in higher cart class, 66 cart of carteventsbe 17th place is the 84 cart force 2 cart, that's a clubman cart, and then the higher cart 100 uh, numbered eco trailer team are 18th, 19th, 717 offline 3, that's a clubman class cart. 20th place is the 188 wildcard racing uh, that's a couple of class cart. 21st is the 83 last minute mi last minute racing cart that's a higher cart. Also a higher cart is the number 42 LH racing which is uh, in 22nd place. 23rd place is one of the clubman class cart. Uh, the 881 of Blue Speed Racing. 24th is the 34 cart Scotech Racing. 25th is the number 5 Cupid Stunts. 26th is the 35. These are all by the way we're now in uh, higher carts territory. territory quite, uh, uh, almost entirely I should tell you otherwise. Uh, 26th place is the number 35 Northampton Major. 27th is the 33 BTM Racing UK. 28th is the 49 Monday BPS. 29th is the 23 Monday Nights. 30th is currently in the pits. The number 30 is Sim Racing Club. 31st is the 54 Rival Bones. 32nd is the 86 Race 4 Rubens. 33rd is the number 47 Team White River. 34 is the number 15 1 5 Thundercats. 35th is the number 85 EDKT. Uh, 36th is the 36 DCP karting. 37th is the 1942 cars, the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. Uh, they are one of the Clubman carts. Back to the higher carts in 38th place, the 68th swimming cars in 2. 39th is the UCK Motorsport 103 car. 40th is the number 77 Brilliant Performance Racing Team. 41st is the 227 Piston Broke Team. 42nd is the 117 SG Petch Fury. 43rd is the number 31 CD31 Team. 44th is the number 67 swimming cart in 1. 45th is 101 YMSB Crash Team Racing. 46th is the 111 Not Scared. 47th is the 48 Brawl Cocktails. 48th is the 81 Black Art Customs. 49th is the 96 cart, the Team Bernardo Academy. We were just talking to Rob Charles on their effort. Uh, three cars on them. 50th place is the number 41 Cart Force 3. 51st is the 987 Team Bernardo 987. 52nd is the number 37 Bernardo 7. 53rd is the number 26 Morgan Warriors. 54th is the number 44 Cart Force 1. 55th is the number 61 Shy and Tall Knights. 56th is the number 65 Auto Sport Cart. 57th is the number 40 Ste Steel City. 58th is the number 22 Sporting Force and Mission Motorsport. 59th is the number 99 Racing Ferrari. 60th place is the number 25 Dandy's Barmy Army. 61st place is the number 82 Zolt Bay Racing. 62nd and currently in the pits in the 999 karting team. Uh, never guess what number cart they're driving. Number uh, 63rd place is the number 64 Dads and Lads. Number 63rd, 64th place is the number 12 BBS BB. And bringing up the rear in 65th place, but I'm very happy to say still circul circulating, is the number 39 Banshee Racing. That is how they stand. Uh, if you're wondering about any of the carts, then you can leave us a comment. We don't begrudge you that, by all means. 
Uh, we will try and follow up and give you a shout out. But if you want to know where any carts are in particular, please go to live.alphatiming.co.uk forward slash Teesside and you can find it all there. Hello to Monica Cox. She's watching from the campsite asking when our live coverage is on until. There's going to be at least video and cameras throughout. Uh, and I don't know about you, Howard, but I'm feeling pretty good right now. So uh, we're, we're uh, I'm, I'm feeling okay. I reckon if, uh, we, uh, we may do a bit of alternating. Yes. Uh, just to, to keep ourselves going. But yeah, right now. Um, feeling pretty good. Feeling okay. It helps when we're not pacing. In it really does. Ourselves. We did try uh, earlier this year at the British University's equivalent of this event, the British University's Carson Championship, Andrew and I did attempt to do commentary and race. Not simultaneously. That would be particularly difficult. Uh, but um, Although it would probably have some quite hilarious results. It, it would. Given um, my I'm not too sure that some of my... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what my uh, onboard uh, microphone could be broadcast, but there we go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, brilliant to be able to bring you this coverage. And... Uh, but uh, obviously, at the same time, uh, Andrew and I would very much like to be able to cover the uh, end of the race tomorrow with some semblance of. We definitely want to do the last six hours. Oh yes, then we should That's say that um, for definite. If, if can rain or shine, we will cover the last six hours with full comms, and uh, the live cameras are going back up for the last six hours. Is that correct? Well, yeah, we get an option to produce it. So yeah, um, so we will have a form of coverage throughout, and Andrew and I will try and do our best as the 61 cart comes into the pit lane, pulls up onto the weighing scales. This is the... Uh, bashful Lanky Knights. Bashful Lanky Knights, who earlier on had some kind of technical problem or had a particularly long pit stop of some form. I, I'm happy to call them the shy and tall knights now. I just, I'm just I'm refusing to, to fall for the trick. Bashful Lanky Knights. Bashful Lanky. Uh, it's, it's, you know. To be fair, th that fellow is rather... He is quite tall. But does he seem shy? That's the question. He's confidently pushing his cart, so I'm not convinced. Anyway, um, uh, we'll try and bring you as much coverage as possible, folks. Just looking at the entry list. Dads and Lads uh, is a clubman cart, which we haven't talked about a lot. I'm just going to see how they are doing. Uh, they're still circulating. They're actually circulating pretty quickly at the moment. A 1 minute 15 last time around for them. Um uh, but they have had their issues. They are 54 laps off the lead in 63rd. I'm just going to confirm something that happened best part of an hour ago. It was the shy and tall knight, the bashful rank knight, uh, who uh, had the mechanical that held up the leader of the higher car class, the 120. So it just recognised the driver who got in. It wasn't the driver's fault. He had a mechanical problem. The car didn't really move, but it, uh, it did hold up the 120. SG Petch sprinters quite a bit. And uh, the gap's holding steady for them, though. Uh, it's a 25-second gap between the leaders in the higher cart class. Meanwhile, who else is close out there? Northampton Maidens in the number 35 cart. They've just got past the number five uh, Cupid Stunts cart for 24th place. Uh, there's been a lot of change over 28th place at the moment. The number 54 Rival Bones currently heads the number 23 Monday Nights and the LH Racing cart. But they, uh, w actually I think maybe a pit stop has come to play there because the gaps have opened up extremely quickly if not. But that's uh, a fairly close uh, gap there by the standards uh, of some of the uh, gaps we've seen throughout there. Team White River in 33rd place are only eight seconds up the road from the 15 uh, Thundercats uh, in 34th. And the number 77 Aprilia Performance Racing have just on that last lap got past the number 103 UCK Motorsport for 39th place. So there are some... Good battles happening up and down, and whether or not battles, oh. people are really trying to set the pace now. Some people trying a bit too hard in some places, as we just saw, to uh, close these gaps down. Uh, I should say as well, we also, uh, as you can tell, dry track, we are back into the range where some teams are setting personal best laps. Uh, so let's just go over some of them that are going quicker than they've ever done before, uh, for this 24 hours at least. Uh, last minute racing have just set a 119.489 on lap 264. Oh no, all the screens have gone blank just as I was in. Oh no, that's more. Failing with technology alert. There we go, it's back now. Uh, who else has recently set a fastest lap for their, or personal best lap for their 
cart. Rival Bones. Rival Bones, the number 54, starting to find their feet. Their very last lap uh, was a 120.667. That's quicker than they've gone before. Monday night, as we said, they're going quicker. LH Racing. So a lot of the teams that had issues very early on in the race. CD3. Whoa, is this off? 15 is off. Thank you, Morgan, for bringing my attention back to the screen. That's through the uh, the Wiggles, as we're now calling them. The 15, I think there was, a, was another cart involved. Uh, this is the Thundercats. It is, and they were uh, trying, uh, as I say, they were uh, just behind. Oh, goodness me, I said who they were catching up to. Uh, Team White River. It was Team White River, wasn't it? So but they were 8.9 seconds behind them. I don't okay, think so that the river were involved. No, no, okay, Contact warning fine. for dads and lads. Uh, just, uh, just to say, by the way, you know how we were saying that James Saunders uh, basically on the high end of the helmet? Yes. Uh, it was Brandon Williams. Oh, <laughs> because it was wet. Ah. Uh, so they did the old helmet swap. Oh, I don't but, like uh, it when they do that. They just no. Oh, is this oh, the other two oh, off? Oh, and uh, critically, is that the 115, Andrew? Yeah, it is. It is the 115. And uh, the 31? Uh, CD, no, 37, it wasn't, it wasn't Bonato. 37. It was the Bonato cart. So, uh, 115 is your fourth oh, is it, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is your fourth place. Sorry, we did the old commentators thing of treading on each other's wires there with the headset. Uh, the uh, 115 Team Keen, uh, who now has a contact warning. In fact, was that a moment ago? No. Yeah, uh, it was a moment yeah, ago. Yeah, it was a moment ago. So they just had uh, further dramas out there coming through the Wiggles. And uh, I think I'm going to end up using slalom and wiggles interchangeably. It's difficult to change the habits. So slalom has that allowed wiggles. DWS to catch up to them? Because they were only five seconds down the road. It probably has. In fact, they might have taken the position off that them. That could Let's have changed. See. We'll see as they come round. Uh, they're just coming to finish the lap. Our uh, team Keen. Uh, I shall wait for the timing screen to update, which is... Well, they lost five seconds. They're going to be they right on them. Uh, yeah, this is going to be really close. So keep your eyes peeled for the battle for fourth place. There they are. There is the 115, and they're behind. There's the 58. Yeah, so battle rejoined between these two, the two leaders of the Clubman class, fighting over fourth place. This is a good uh, little scrap going on in the higher cards as well. I don't think it's for position, but uh, really nice that uh, you can catch us that 61. Oh, it's one of the ones that I can't it's 37. It is one it's of the, the Bonato 37. carts. It is one of the Bonato. So 37 and 54, is that? It's not, but uh, nice move all the same. 37, Bonato 7, and the 54 uh, rival Bones in 28th place. Uh, second place cart, the 443 MS Soko Select is in the pits. So we'll keep an eye on that and just make doubly sure that it is not any form of technical gremlin for them. I don't think we've mentioned either, Howard, that we've had a change of lead in rookie class. Yes, and we just saw the uh, giant Hornets racing team go through the screen there. But they've lost that they lead. They have lost the lead of that class, absolutely. And here is the battle then. There's the 115 going up the hill, and then the yellow. There's, there's a black flag for dads and lads for overtaking on the yellow. Here's the battle for fourth place then. You can see the gaps going down here. The 115, Team Keen in fourth place. And the Cougars, the Cousley Cougars uh, in the 69, your new rookie leader right behind them. Yeah. So these two working together now to close in on Team Keen. Yeah. And they've really closed in now. The battle is now on. 17 hours to go. And here's a fight over fourth place. And this is, just looking down the order, the closest battle. On could have track. a run. He could have a run into Hairpin 3. Looking up the inside. And that's a brilliant manoeuvre, clean as a whistle. And that's DWS back into fourth place. But they're off the back. corner. Team, K, uh, Team Keen fighting back. But uh, DWS will have the inside line into the hook. And yes, has that now. That will be scored over timing at start and finish. Back into fourth place goes DWS. Absolutely. Really good racing there. It's been... Uh it's been a battle that's been going on for a good couple of hours, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, they've been uh, closing the gap, opening the gap back out. It's been a, a long fought battle, that. But at the moment, DWS have the bragging rights. The 188 wildcard racing hits from 20th place in the club.